this video is going to be about making water drinkable. If you don't have a filter with you, one of the things you can do is this water's rainwater. It's got some stuff in it. But it's pretty clear, all, all told. So this water, as it is, you could take care of this relatively easily. This bottle, I think, uh, I do believe this is a sort you can set in the sun for half a day or so, and the sunlight will kill everything in it. I don't necessarily trust that. Kind of not my thing. There's just some things that I don't want to trust. It'll work if you have to. The other thing you can do is, this is bleach in this bottle. Just standard bleach, nothing major, none of the none of the special stuff in it, no scents, no dyes, no whatever the crap they put in it. This is just plain cheap bleach, which is the real trick to find now. And since that water's clear, there's two drops that go in it. Cap it up, let it sit for a half an hour, then you can drink it. It'll kill everything that's in there. You can get, I just happen to have a black bottle. I got hold of a black bottle so I could identify it and scratched into what it was and how much. If this water was dirty, say it was stirred up, add four drops. But there's a way you could get past that to get the water fairly clean. And this is, what, this is how you'll pull that off. Okay, I stirred up the bottom in this for this technique. Sometimes you just can't get to clean water. I'm using this bottle because you can see through it relatively easy, but you take your handkerchief, a cloth, or whatever. And I'll double, I'll layer it up. If you got a string or something, tie it around it. If not, hold it tight. Stick the whole thing underwater. It's sitting here bubbling. You can squeeze the bottle a little bit with your little fingers and it pushes the air out and pulls the water in. You can see it's working. It's not as clear as it was on the first one, but it's nowhere near as brackish as this was after you stirred it up. You're filtering it through the cloth. This is whether I'd add the four drops of bleach to it because you don't know what was stirred up in it. Put four drops of bleach in this and leave it sit at least a half an hour. I would probably let that sit an hour just to let it go. Then it's perfectly drinkable. This water appears to be drinkable anyway. My dog comes down here and drinks it anyhow, but you never know what's in it. This technique works well if you don't have a filter. This technique also, if you do have a filter, like a Sawyer filter with the squeeze bags or whatever you're running it through, instead of pull it, putting all that mess through your filter, you can do this to take a lot of the dirt and stuff out and then filter it, and that'll remove a lot of the nasty. Okay, this is the water I just run through the cloth. I stepped up out of the swamp where we could see a little better. This is a the bleach in my bottle and four drops. Two, three, four. Let it sit for half an hour. And I'll leave it sit right here. We'll come back in a half an hour. And I'll drink some of this. And we'll see if it actually works. It should. I've done this before. The only thing, the only difference will will be this will taste rather chlorinated, and it'll have a a bit of a clay taste to it because that's what got spun up from the bottom, which 
doesn't really bother me a whole lot. You could put, get an eyedropper bottle, anything along that line. Make sure you mark it so you know what it is. And then a little bottle is easy to carry in your Oshite bag and it's a backup to everything else. Or even if you're questionable on your filter, whether you might get into some water that's got viral components and stuff, add this to it. And this is just insurance. Okay, it's been about 50 minutes since this has sat. You can see some of the clay has set it, sedimented out. There's a little sediment in the bottom, it's settled out. If you leave it sit longer, this will clear up and it'll all end up on the bottom and then you can carefully pour it off if you want. There's a little few little floaties in there that happen to get in. But we've got four drops of bleach in here. It's been sitting in here for 50 minutes or so. So that should be good. It's strong enough because I can smell it. All right, now let's see what bottoms up. Tastes like chlorinated city water. Bah, and I'm not used to that. I have well water out here that's usually really good, but it didn't even really taste clay or anything. It'll work. That little bottle, I'm not sure how much that'll hold for drop-wise, but it should do quite a lot. The other thing you can use, and I don't have it with me, is uh, like an eyedropper bottle, a little Visine bottle that you clean out really good. Otherwise, because if it's normal, if it's normal Visine, you got to be careful with it because mm, a drop of that will make you make you blow out everything you ate for the last two weeks. Just as a word of warning. So if you're going to use a Visine bottle or something like that that has a screw-on cap that you don't have the rubber little rubber thing, if you're concerned about it, um, make sure it's clean, very clean. You don't ever want to make that mistake. That's an old waitress trick for people that don't tip. The next time they come in, they'll put a couple squirts of that in your drink and your butthole will fall out. Fun times. Seen it happen, accidentally done it to myself, but it, and it does work that way. But this works really good for purifying water that's questionable, or if you want to be sure, if you're off in some section of the world or something, or in an area as it's starting to get this way in this country in some places, you might want to bleach it after you filter it. Just as a thought.